they are from true marks and in this video we are going to solve question number first of exercise 12.3 question says find the area of the shaded region if PQ is equal to 24 cm and PR is equal to 7 cm find O uh, and O is the center of the circle so in this case I have to find the area of this shaded region plus this region okay now whenever you have to find the area of the shaded region what you have to do in that figure subtract the area of unshaded figure from the complete figure okay and the remaining will be the area of unshaded portion that means this is the circle so ignoring this part of the circle that is the semicircle only consider this semicircle the half of the circle because O is the center and the line passing through the center is known as diameter and this diameter dividing the circle into two semicircles and this is the first semicircle and in this semicircle I have to find the area of this shaded portion so obviously from this complete figure which is the semicircle I have to subtract the area of this triangle so if from the semicircle I subtract the area of the triangle remaining will be my answer which is the area of the shaded region so this is the basic rule here whenever you have to find the area of a shaded region what you have to do from the given figure you have to subtract the unshaded figure the remaining will be your shaded figure the remaining area will be your answer okay now let's solve this so area of shaded region will be equals to area of semicircle minus area of triangle so area, area of shaded region will be equal to area of my semicircle and area of triangle now here the area of the semicircle will be the area of circle divided by 2 so area of circle is pi r square divided by 2 because semicircle is half of the circle and the area of the circle is pi r square so half of the area will be pi r square divided by 2 now minus area of triangle now to find out the area of this triangle first of all I must know what kind of a triangle it is whether it is a right angle triangle or whether it is a uh, equilateral triangle or whether it is a isosceles or scaling triangle and accordingly I will substitute the formula here so here in the circle there is a theorem which you must be familiar with that in a semicircle all angles are right angles so this is a theorem you must have studied in your class 9 that in a circle all angles are 90 degree if you haven't studied this is important that in a semicircle uh, let me draw you another example that this is the center so this is the diameter so we it says that in a circle or in a semicircle all angles are 90 degrees that means this angle this angle and this angle all angles are right angles similarly in this figure this is the diameter so this is my semicircle and this angle at here at P must be 90 degree that means this is my right angle triangle okay where PQ which is uh, the uh, side opposite to 90 is known as hypotenuse and one is perpendicular and the third one is base and perpendicular which is PQ is given to us as 24 cm and my base which is PR is given to us as 7 cm and I have to first of all 
if you want to find the area of this triangle or because this is right angle triangle so I have to use half base into height and height here is the perpendicular not the hypotenuse okay hypotenuse is another thing and height is another thing and height is known as the perpendicular okay and now here I know the base of the right angle triangle which is 7 I know the height of this right angle triangle which is 24 which is perpendicular but I must know the radius here for the circle now radius is half of the diameter and diameter is basically the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle so first of all I must know this side which is the hypotenuse for this right angle triangle so for that I have to use Pythagoras theorem and using Pythagoras theorem I can find this hypotenuse okay now using Pythagoras theorem in triangle PQR okay and Pythagoras theorem states that in a right angle triangle the square of its hypotenuse which is the longest side is equal to the sum of squares of other two sides okay so here I have to find the hypotenuse my perpendicular is 24 so it will be 24 square and my base is 7 so it should be 7 square is 49 and 24 square is 24 multiplied by 24 which is 57 it is 576 now h square will be equal to I have to add 576 plus 49 so instead of adding these two uh, column or uh, row wise what I can do I can give 1 from this to this this will become 575 and this will become 50 ok and then you can add because 575 plus 50 is first of all 575 plus 25 is 600 and then again 25 will be 625 or this is 575 plus 50 so obviously it is 625 ok so it will be 625 so my h will be under root 625 and I know that under root 2 625 is 25 so my radius here should be my hypotenuse is 25 that means my diameter should be 25 centimeter and my radius should be half of the diameter which is 25 by 2 centimeter now substitute the values the value of pi is 22 upon 7 my radius is 25 by 2 multiplied by 25 by 2 and this multiplied by there is another 2 in the denominator Okay, now this is minus half, base is 7 and my height is 24. Let's solve this. Uh, to get we can send this to 11 times and uh, the remaining values cannot be solved. So here 25 multiplied by 25 is 625 is multiplied by 11 and the denominator it is 2 into 2 is 4 and 4 into 7 is 28 and minus this can be cancelled 12 times so 12 into 7 is 84 12 into 7 is 84 now I have to multiply 625 by 11 and then I have to divide it by 28 so I know the trick how to multiply any number by 11 what I have to do first of all I have to write the last number then I have to add these two numbers, it is 7. Then skipping 1, again I have to add these two, which is 8. And at last I have to copy this, it is 28. This, sorry, this is minus 84. Now, let's divide the 6, 8, uh, 7, 5 by 28. Then after that, I can subtract 84 from it. It is 28. Uh, uh, 
it is 28 is divided by 6, 8, 7, 5. It can be uh, 2 times. It is 56. And 2 and 1 it is 12. It is 7. It can be 4 times. It is 15. And then it is 5. 5 times 0. It is 40. It is again 50. Now, now 15 cannot be divided by 28, so I can place decimal. I can move this, and again this can be cancelled five times. It will be 140, then it will be 100, uh, and then three times, and this should be my answer. So it should be around 245, 245.53 minus. It is 84. So the answer will be so 53 minus 0 is 53. 5 minus 4 is 1. 24, uh, this is 14. 14 minus 8 is 6. And it is 6. So 161.53 should be the area of this shaded portion. So this is how we can solve this first question. Thank you.